Okay, welcome to um, this video. Um, my name is Sarah and I'm the creator of hostessology.com and I want to show you today how to create a boho floral arrangement. So what I'm starting out with here is a smaller container um, that is like a ceramic material and I'm using clear um, floral tape um, to create kind of a grid on um, the opening of the vase. And um, you can find this floral tape online. I can leave a link for it in the description box, but um, I found that it doesn't really stick that well to um, anything that has texture. It works best on smooth surfaces like glass or like this um, smoother ceramic. So once you create your little grid pattern, then you can start to add your florals. And um, so I have an assortment here of dried florals. Um, and what I did is start with the biggest items first. And I knew I wanted to create kind of an asymmetrical design. So you'll kind of see me as we go along here, um, really have to kind of keep adjusting. And that's okay. The grid of tape helps a little bit to keep things in place um, and in position, but as you can see, it's kind of, um, it's a process. So I started with the biggest items. Um, and don't be afraid as you are working on your floral arrangement to break the stems on um, them I found at least the varieties that I bought it was fairly easy to kind of just snap the stems and make the flowers the height that I needed them to be um, so once I got the yellow flowers in then I moved on to a blue um, thistle and fair warning these are a little prickly um, they were a bit hard to work with they really wanted to stick together kind of like velcro um, so I just kind of grab them as the bunches that they, um, kind of easily came apart into, um, and, and place them that way. You also want to make sure that you are doing this, making dried floral arrangements in a place where it's easy to clean up because as you can see from the table, it is a bit of a kind of a messy process. Um, they tend to So the next item that I'm putting into this dried floral bouquet are these, I think they're called coin. Um, coin flowers or coin leaves. Uh, a lot of times you'll see these as a more of a pearly iridescent color, um, but I chose yellow in this case because the party that I'm working on is yellow and blue. And so um, I thought these were a fun addition. I would say another tip for you as you're thinking about creating dried floral arrangements is to really consider your um, making sure that you have not only height variety, but also some variety in texture. So as you can see here, I have, um, you know, with the palm leaves, I have something that's very structured. Um, with the yellow flowers that we initially put in, those are a little bit more compact and a little bit fuzzy looking. Same with the blue thistles, although they're just a totally different shape. So they're bringing in a different kind of visual look. And then finally with these um, coin leaves, um, it's these are very full and fluttery and they give a lot of movement to the space, whereas everything else is very structured. So I think to have, um, you know, in your end look, to have that be um, kind of look complete, you wanna make sure that you have some variety. And so here's where um, I'm going to come in with literally the messiest flowers I've ever worked with. <laughs> I honestly, they, 
fell apart like crazy. Although I still ended up with, I think a really nice finished look. Um, but I, yeah, they were just shedding everywhere. But um, so they're kind of shorter, um, shorter flowers. And I put these around the bottom edge. And this is really where I started to build out um, the shorter side of this look. So again, I was going for something asymmetrical. So I really wanted one side to stick out and be very, you know, tall. We have a taller side and um, kind of leaning over to one side. And then, then the opposite side, I wanted to be a little bit more um, lower profi profile and not as full. So you can see here that I actually just picked up one of the thistles and broke the stem, which again, don't be afraid to do that. I mean, you know, you, you can't put it back on, so make sure you're breaking it. I guess you could glue it or tape it, but you know, just make sure that you're feeling good about where you're breaking it. But I wouldn't shy away from that in order to get that height variation. Um, that's a really easy way to kind of go about it. Okay. So here's where you just kind of have to start moving things around. So I'm really, you know, finishing up filling in this bottom part with the lower um, profile flowers. Um, so these are really, and it's also important, I think, to have something like this in your arrangement because it, especially if you have a wider um, opening for your vase, this helps to fill in um, so that you, not only can you, then not see into the arrangement or in down into your vessel, but it also kind of holds everything in place. Um, which as you can see, I'm struggling with here a little bit. It just kind of all wanted to fall over on itself. And so it was a little bit of, um, you know, Tetris, if you will, kind of trying to just move things around and get things to stay in place where I felt like it had some good balance, but still gave off a sort of that organic, you know, natural, earthy kind of vibe. And that's it.